What's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. Today is one of them unboxing episodes. It's one of those mystery tackle box unboxing episodes. This is the September mystery tackle box. We're going to crack it open. You know what? We're going to give it away just as we always do. Hang out till the end. I'll tell you how to win it. We've got some special instructions on this one and uh, yeah, let's get going. <music> Let me take a second to introduce myself. My name is Brett and I run Bee Fishing. And every month I give away a free mystery tackle box just like this one that we're about to unbox. Um, I'm actually giving away this one just as I do every month. I unbox it, I'll tell you how to use all the stuff in it. Um, my initial takes on the box. Uh, it's the first time seeing it with you guys. And uh, then we give it away. I'm not sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box in any way. This is something that I pay for out of my channel's budget that we have every month and uh, just something nice to do. Um, if you want to win it, there will be instructions at the end along with the date and how I select my winner. So hang out. Let's uh, flip the camera around. Let's open this thing up. Uh, let's not waste any time here. Let's go. Alrighty, so let's take out the old handy dandy box cutter and let's cut this thing open and see what we have in our September 2019 box for Mystery Tackle Box. This is obviously is the Bass Pro Edition. So let's see. Um, here are the baits in there. It looks like we got a Bagley Boss Awake bait. Okay, a Yappa Frog, Biospawn Exo Ribbon. That's that new Exo Ribbon that just came out this month. First off, oh yeah, it's the uh, it's a wake bait. It's like he's riding it. You know how them wake baits work. They uh, jerk side to side and uh, get, get the fish going a little bit. I like it. So let's start off in order uh, with the Bagley Bossa wake bait. And that's going to be this guy right here. So it's about to turn fall. We're right at the tail end of summer. You guys up north are already in it. These wake baits, these top water baits, if you can get them when the shad's running, I love the sexy shad pattern. You know, you got your darker blue at the top, white bottom, a little bit of chartreuse there. This is going to catch you fish, I'm telling you. And early in the morning when those shad are still like running near the top of the water, they haven't been pushed back up in the creeks yet. Um, yeah, you're going to catch some fish on this. The top water bite is for the most part going to die here in the next couple months. So take advantage with this wake bait. It just, I mean, it just resembles a shad running across the top of the water. One cool thing about this, the Bossa Wake 1 was exclusively designed for Mystery Tackle Box customers, made from super light Bossa wood. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. So this is an MTB exclusive. So that's pretty cool to have in the box. And again, I love that pattern on it. It's your, your typical sexy shad, uh, which, I mean, we all know catches fish, right? Let's go on to the next one. Let's go to this Lunker Hunt Yappa Frog. Uh, this is in black. Again, what's the belly look like? The belly is white with a little bit of chartreuse. Again, with all of these top water baits, okay? Who cares what the top looks like? Fish don't see the top. This is for the fishermen. Always check out the bottom. And uh, I can dig that. A little bit of chartreuse. It's actually more natural to have that color on the bottom of a frog. Um, now this, basically, what Lunker Hunt did, they came out with these about a year ago. And uh, it resembles very much a jitterbug. I mean, y'all remember the old school jitterbugs? That's basically what this does, except it doesn't have as tight of a, uh, a wobble as a jitterbug. It's more got a walking action. I mean, it's weedless, unlike your boss awake bait. So if you get it in the cabbage, you can definitely get this thing out and you can walk it. It walks naturally with that popping action on the front of it. Um, again, jitterbug style but it's not going to have as tight of a wobble as jitterbug but it'll definitely get bit i'm a pretty big fan of the lunker hunt top water stuff i think the hooks are pretty stout um, i can't really feel this but if it's like anything like the other lunker hunt stuff super super soft hollow body there so your uh, the hookup ratio is going to go up so i definitely like this um, you can see what they're what they're doing here you're getting the top water for those shad runs and if the fish are still in that cover the cabbage a little bit which they will be for a little while longer. Um, but as that stuff starts to die off, your grass, your lilies, as they start to die, the fish will move out of them. So if you're gonna fish this, definitely find the greenest, the absolute greenest patch of grass to throw this over that you can, because before we know it, um, the fish will have moved out of that stuff. Up next is the Biospawn Exo Ribbon. And everybody on this channel knows I am a huge fan, just like any of you should be. I mean, the ribbon tail on a worm is probably the most deadly worm ever created. 
it just it just flat out catches fish it's one of my favorite ways to fish in the summer because it's so versatile you can flip it um, if you want to put it on a Texas rig you can put it on a shaky head you can put it on a Carolina rig biospawn which is a catch co company biospawn always has these ribs on it which I mean let me tell you something all the biospawn stuff is amazing in my opinion it's pretty I'm not gonna open this because it's 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 sealed I don't want to open it and ruin it for you guys the plastic on this stuff is uh, usually pretty pretty soft number one I think this is a great color too the black with the red mixed in is gonna be killer it's it's your red shad black um, I'm a big fan of all the reds like red bug on a ribbon tail um, as well as your watermelon reds anything that's got a little bit of a hint of red in it just for for whatever reason actually we know the reason um, catches fish so in this the transition from summer to fall your dock fish the ones that were under those docks for uh, you know the shade they're now gonna, actually going to get on those pylons real real tight in an ambush position so what I would actually recommend if you're gonna throw this if you want to flip it at it put a lighter weight on don't put your heavy like quarter ounce weight go with almost like an eighth or even a sixteenth uh, Texas rig and flip at those pilings so if you can get on a dock pylon and have it basically hit right beside it and slowly sink and give that tail time to flutter on the way down you're gonna catch those fish that are that are hugging that structure that's the way I prefer to fish this on a Texas rig but you can definitely Carolina rig this and it's gonna catch them if you're still fishing that offshore the offshore bite on those rock piles or any kind of offshore structure Carolina rigs the way to go with this thing you absolutely can go weightless again it will sink and it'll give it a slower like a slower flutter but it, I'd just go 16th ounce if you're gonna go if you're thinking about going weightless just put 16th ounce let it really nose down with that hook in it and flutter um, and you can also use this on a shaky head as well because that tail is just going to kick this is i mean we all know ribbon tails work i'm just happy exo uh, the uh, biospawn i keep wanting to say exo swim exo ribbon because i use the exo swims by biospawn so much the exo ribbon is definitely going to be a big fish killer and this is a seven inch ribbon tail so good bait right here really happy to have this in the box comes with eight in a pack I could have probably done with more you know zoom with their utails come with like 20 in a pack but hey I'm not gonna complain I'll always take more ribbon tails up next we have the big bites baits cane thumper which is gonna be this guy right here in a lovely lovely shad pattern nice nice little area right there where you can conceal the hook if you want to fish it with a uh, weighted hook or you can even Texas rig the thing um, so here's what's about to happen Again, in this transition, I told you what happens to those dock fish, how they're gonna get closer to pylons. I told you what's gonna happen with the, uh, the grass fish that have been underneath the grass, hanging out in the grass and hanging out in those lilies. As those start to die, they're gonna you know, go find the only living piece of grass left. They're gonna hug to that living piece of grass until they finally push off um, and go out in open water. You're gonna have, with the ribbon tail, you're gonna have your dock fish that really really hug the pylons a lot tighter not for the shade anymore so much as, as it is an ambush position but then you've got your deeper water fish your offshore fish are actually going to start pushing shad because the shad are going to start their their fall migration where they ball up again and they're going to be in these nice tight schools the bass are going to chase them and that's when these swim baits are going to come into play when you are find those shad you're going to want to throw a swim bait at it a nice shad imitation um, because if you get back in these creeks and you find a load of shad just balled up in the back of a creek what that means is is there a bass at the not at the back of the creek where the shad are but back away from the shad holding them there and they're going to munch on them until they're gone so you throw one of these in there pull it through that bait ball and as soon as you come out of that bait ball into that deeper water in that creek those bass are gonna munch on it so that's what I would use these for um, this time of year as we're going through that transition I do like the pattern I mean that is your typical shad pattern um, white on bottom dark on top I mean that's a shad scream shad all day you'll catch fish on this up next we have the Booyah bankroll jig Booyah bankroll jig is a three eight ounce three eight ounce jig in black and blue your standard awesome color it looks like the hook is, I mean, at a nice angle. So you've got a nice flat bottom on this jig. 
Uh, very similar to like a skipping jig, but it's got that nice stand up on it. So you're gonna be able to drag that across the bottom. If you pair it with uh, some kind of crawl, um, I'll show you the Z-Man in a little bit, and it may pair with it. I don't like the color match as well, but it'll still work. It's gonna have that nice stand up on it with a trailer, um, and it's hopefully gonna put any kind of appendage sticking straight up. They're just kicking. Um, and that's gonna draw the fish in because when a lot of people skip this time of year, for whatever reason, they all they think this time of year in the when you transition to fall is the shad run. We've gotta find the shad, we're gonna find the fish, and you're not wrong. However, did you know that the crawfish mate obviously they're, they're mating in the spring um, but it's actually a little bit more intense in the fall so if you go back to those rock piles that you fished with crawfish imitations in the uh, the spring and you do that in the fall it's act that those crawfish get a little bit more intense because they're not having to come out of that cold water into warm water it's warm water into cold water um, that transition so those crawfish are much much more active during the falling temperatures of the water. So revisit those, throw something like a jig in there, and you're gonna murder the fish. Black and blue is just, I mean, a standard color. So this is definitely gonna work. Uh, I like it, and uh, yeah, bankroll jig by Booyah. I can dig it. Uh, up next is the Z-Man TRD Crawls. That's gonna be this guy. Now the fun part about Z-Man, everybody should know this by now, the, the best part about your Z-Man products are the fact that they are made with a Laztec. I'm gonna pull one out right here. Which means they stretch for days. I mean, they just don't break, they don't quit. It can be a little annoying when they get stuck on a hook, especially like a hook saver. Um, it's really kinda, kinda annoying that you can't just pull it straight off sometimes. You gotta work it to get it off of the, uh, the hook. But that's a good thing. It means you get multiple uh, bites and multiple fish out of your bait. The other fun thing about a Laztec is it floats. So you put this on like a, uh, a Ned rig, for example, which is kind of what this one is meant for. It's really, the Z-Man products work best on a Ned rig, these smaller Z-Man products, especially their TRD stuff, um, because those claws, while they hang right now, when they hit water, they float right up and they wiggle. They'll give you a little bit of wiggle as you're dragging that through. Um, not really a huge fan of this color, this blood worm color, uh, but as it sinks down, I think that color will darken up on you, um, just the way the water and light uh, change colors as you uh, abate sinks of the water. So I think it would be okay, but definitely I would put this on a Ned rig, just because it shows short. Uh, it'd be perfect on a little mushroom head Ned rig, and uh, yeah, let those appendages sort of kick around down there. See if you can't get munched on. Again, crawfish uh, are much more active in the fall during their fall mating. Um, just because the water is already warm. They're not having to come out of that cold water stupor to mate. They're going from a warm water to cold water. Um, and that will happen anywhere between your mid 70s to mid 50s. So once the water temperature hits your mid 70s, those crawfish are naturally gonna start up again um, and they will continue through about the mid 50s and then they're just gonna quit. Um, but go fish those rock piles with something like this. And uh, yeah, you'll scoop up some bass for sure. And last but not least, we have a nice set of 4 ot Mustad hooks, which, hey, by the way, would pair perfectly with uh, like your worm. Um, now these are wide gap, um, so it's not your traditional worm. I fish a wide gap almost exclusively all the time, so it will definitely work with this worm. Um, it'll also, if you wanted to Texas rig up one of these guys, would really, really work well with one of your um, paddle tails. Um, you can Texas rig that, make it look like a dying shad, you know, you're sort of popping it across the bottom, kind of like you would a worm, except you're just going to give the, the rod a little bit more of a pull so it floats up and then sort of that tail kicks down. Um, so yeah, you've got your hooks, which is just standard edition. I like that they bring in the uh, a little bit of terminal tackle just to get us started. Um, we could have gone with a couple of weights, but that's all right. We can provide our own lead weights or tungsten, which is what I prefer. Um, so let's get this box back up. Hopefully I've given y'all enough tips um, on how to fish this stuff. And uh, let's give the thing away. Let's talk about how to win it and then let's wrap this video up. All right, so you've hung out till the end of the video. You wanna know, how do I win this thing? Well, it's quite easy. 
So I'm gonna give you a week from today. So I'm gonna put the date right here that you have to enter by. It's gonna be noon on this date. You have to do these things by to win this box. All you gotta do is be subscribed. So hit the red subscribe button. It should be over here. I'll turn it gray. If you want to hit the ding dong notifications, that's not a requirement, that is a choice by you. Those ding dongs, a little bell right there, if you hit the bell, all it does is notify you anytime I drop a new video. And we got some pretty good ones, I think. Number two. Uh, hit the like button. It's really simple. Right over here. Hit that like button too. Um, and last but not least, you got to leave a comment. Two parts to the comment. Number one, what are you most excited about in the box? What gets you fired up about this box that makes you want to win it? What do you think your favorite bait is? And the second thing, you got to leave a hashtag. Hashtag be fishing. Very simple. Not doing any kind of thing crazy. If you don't have those two things in the comment, that's, that's the requirements. You gotta have hashtag be fishing and you gotta tell me what your favorite lure in the box was. Outside of that, uh, thanks for watching. But other than, if you, wanted, if you wanna win it, you gotta do those uh, four things, I guess. Leave a comment with two parts to it. Like, subscribe, yeah, that's it. I think it's gonna do it. Again, I'm pleased with the box. I mean, it's got several really, really good baits in it that I know are gonna catch fish and a couple that I don't have in the arsenal yet that uh, I kind of want to get in the arsenal and give it a go, which is the whole point of Mystery Tackle Box. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. We will catch you on the next one. Later.